How's it going, fellow Detroit Red Wings fans? So, the NHL entry draft concluded last week, and we got some new top prospects. The best of the Red Wings draft class being Simon Evanson taken sixth overall. And now, I will admit, of the top NHL prospects of the 2021 NHL draft, we have covered Evanson the least. We talked a little bit about him in the top five draft prospects for the Detroit Red Wings video, where he was rated as the third best prospect behind Eklund and Walstead who ironically were still both available and the Red Wings didn't select. Anyways, on to Edvinson. We are going to talk about his skills, NHL readiness, where he could fit in the lineup one day, and what we think of the Red Wings selecting him at sixth overall. So first off, Edvinson was rated as the wildest wild card of this draft. The kid is oozing with potential, not even to mention his towering height and 6 foot 5, 207 pound frame, but he unfortunately is inconsistent on the ice or else he likely would have been taken in the top 5, if not then the top 3. So what has Edmondson done so far in his career? He has grown through the ranks over in Sweden, playing in pretty much every division, and aside from the SHL, mostly dominating the competition. Specifically last season, he played in the Junior 20 League, the SHL, and the Hockey Osvenskan, where he recorded 5 assists amongst 6 points in 14 games played, added 1 assist in 10 SHL games played, and 5 assists in 14 games played in the Osvenskan. He also did well playing for Team Sweden, helping them earn bronze at the World Junior 18 Championships, tying for the lead in points for defensemen with 4 points in 7 games played. Now for a player at 6th overall, this doesn't sound too pleasing and really scouts had him all over the place anywhere from 3rd overall to 14th overall, earning him the nickname Wildest Wildcard. But I will say Sider only had 6 points in 29 games played playing in the DEL the season before he was drafted. And I've said it before, probably will say it again, this pick gives off Marit Sider vibes so I wouldn't be too worried about his point totals in the big leagues right now. So for his skills. Edmondson owns an elite skating ability. Now when I say skating, I don't mean necessarily how quick he skates, more just his ability to move around the ice. He carves his way through a congested neutral zone like a hot knife through butter. I included some footage from his U18 World Junior Championship performance and you can see his agility and handling is amongst the best or better, especially for a 6 foot 5 defenseman. Don't get me wrong, Edmondson has good enough speed, it won't blow you away but he can definitely pinch in and still get back to help out his defensive partner. His shot is okay. Most people say it needs work, and truthfully, it does, to truly become deadly. The only thing I will say, maybe as more of a counter argument, is it seems that Edmondson is always looking for a play. Whether it be a pass or a tip in, it doesn't appear he's shooting just to create chaos or to get a hard shot on net. So that may have something to do with it. The only major flaw in Edvinson's game is his passing and choice of passing. Simply put, he doesn't do well under pressure. When forwards are incoming, he will dump the pass, and sometimes with enough time, he still doesn't put enough power on it to make the pass before it gets intercepted. The Red Wings, I'm sure, will be having him work on it either in Frolando, in the SHL, or in the Hockey Osvenskin, depending on where he can get the best competition and most minutes especially since he did average around 5-6 to six minutes a night playing in Frolunda last season. So his offensive side has some real potential, if developed correctly. What about his defensive side? When it comes to the defensive side, he actually has this locked down pretty well. He can manage gap control, gets his body and stick in the way to block shot attempts or interrupt plays. And as you can expect, he can lay the body when he needs to. Overall, the defensive side is locked down and truly, he does look way more comfortable in a defensive first role. He just needs to get better at switching from defense to offense and making a good pass out of the defensive zone or in the neutral zone. Now, how NHL ready is Edmondson? Well, I think most Red Wings fans will be disappointed to hear. It's going to be at least two seasons before we start to see him trying to make attempts at the lineup. Now, that is assuming he doesn't hit another gear next season and tear up the Swedish leagues. This does sound like a long time, especially for a player selected at 6th overall. But this is pretty close to the timeline for most high-end defensemen with a lot of potential. Specifically the ones who need to get a kink out. For Sider, it was finding the offense that was being held back. Bouchard had to go through it. Broberg had to go through it. Edvinson will have to go through it. 
But once Edmondson is able to work out those kinks and refine his raw talent into skill, the sky's the limit. And a top line of Sider on the right and Edmondson on the left would be an insane combo. Both being big kids that can hit hard, be defensively responsible, and put up a good amount of points. Now he does have the potential to be that. But realistically, as of right now, I think the goal is to get him to be in the top four and be able to slot in on that second line with Hironik, who is a much better offensive defenseman who would benefit greatly from having a defensively responsible partner that can also chip in on the offense as well. So what do we think of the Detroit Red Wings selecting Edmonton at sixth overall? Well, the best way to put it is this pick is a very Iserman selection. Eisenman likes to go off the boards in the draft. He wants to get the players he deems the best, whether people think that or not, and trust his own judgment more than others. And given how his usual drafts pan out, it's for good reason too. Would we have drafted someone else had we been selecting for the Detroit Red Wings? Yeah, most likely, especially given William Uckland was still on the board. But let's face it, we definitely aren't Steve Eisenman. Let us know down below your thoughts of Simon Edmondson. What do you think of the free agency signings that are going around right now? Please comment down below. Red Wing Nation was designed to be a community of Red Wings fans that can come together and talk about all things Red Wings. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. That way we make more content that you like. And lastly, hit the subscribe button. That way you can be notified when we upload a video. And until next time, lights on the red light district.